Now let's discuss about the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor. Considering the parallel plate capacitor consists of two parallel metal plates indicated as X and Y, each of area A, separated by a distance D, having a surface charge density sigma. The medium between the plates is in R. A charge plus Q, so this is the charge, is given to the plate X and it is inducing or as we can say it is induces a charge minus Q on the upper surface of the earth plate Y. So this has been earth. When the plates are very close to each other, the field is confined to the region between them. So you can finally find the region of the field over here. And the electric lines of force starting from plate X and ending at plate Y are parallel to each other and perpendicular to the plates. By the application of Gauss law, the electric field at a point between two plates is given by E equal to sigma divided by epsilon naught. Here sigma is indicating the surface charge density whereas epsilon naught is indicating the permittivity of free space. And it's quite common that E is indicating the electric field. Now the potential difference between the plates X and Y is given as V equal to which is the potential difference integral d to 0 minus e dr on integrating this one it becomes minus sigma divided by epsilon naught into dr applying the lower and upper limit values it will be sigma d divided by epsilon naught considering the capacitance that is denoted as c the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor will be written as C equal to Q divided by V. Over here, C is indicating the capacitance and Q is indicating the charge and V is indicating the potential difference. Substituting the values for charge Q and potential difference V, it will be sigma A divided by sigma D divided by epsilon naught. On cancelling sigma on both the cases in terms of numerator and denominator, we will be getting C equal to epsilon naught into A divided by D. Now the capacitance is directly proportional to the area A of the plates and inversely proportional to the densities of separation that's D.